Hi, it's Lynette here. So I'm filming from this funny angle because I'm going to film, I'm going to show you my makeup collection because I'm doing a declutter. However, I've already filmed this. So it's dirt my head in. So um, I've had to refilm. So I'm going to be much quicker in this video because I've already filmed it. So the bulk of my makeup that isn't in use is kept in here. I've not gone through and kind of checked makeup bags and what I'm currently using. Um, so I just thought I would show you what's kind of not in use um, and then we could crack on. <laughs> so I've just washed my hands, which is lucky because I had swatched all the nail polishes on them. So I'm not going to waste any time. Um, I am going to show you one, two, three, four, five. Is it five? So there are five products um, lip glosses that I have already decluttered because um, there's they're mainly Primark ones, Huda, um, uh, Sexy Mother Pucker. I've decluttered that just because they kind of smell a bit whiffy. Um, so I don't mind if they're kind of been lying around for ages, but these smell really whiffy. So from the off, I've taken those five out. I will quickly show you the other products that I have because, um, yeah. The last video took ages. So this is the holy grail of lipsticks. It is the one and only Charlotte Tilbury lipstick I own. I think I did have a lip gloss that was sent to me, but um, this is the only lipstick. Look at the, look at the packaging. Yes, that is Panthers. And yes, it's very extra. Yes, I'm filming on the floor of my bedroom. So um, this is um, how do, Angel Alessandro. There we go. And you will notice that this is very much like the lipsticks that I am going to show you. Um, the colour anyway. Maybe not the quality or the packaging. <laughs> so yeah, that's going nowhere. That's going to stay. Um, the next lipstick I have is Maybelline. I found this recently. I got sent it for my birthday from Lynn. Um, and it was in a pack with um, a nail polish and a file. But I put it away and forgot all about it. So that's lovely. Um, I kind of go through phases where I wear lipsticks or lip um, stains or glosses. So this is number seven. I got this in the advent calendar that my lovely friend Tracy sent me. So this is called Desert Rose and it's gorgeous. Revolution Pro. I, I, I'm sure Brian he sent me some as well. Um, and that is really pink, isn't it? But I do wear um, pink. Um, so that would be really nice for in the summer. And this, I'm definitely positive that it was Bryony that sent me this. It's a little Revolution lipstick. And um, it's kind of almost like a corally pink. So those will be really nice for in the summer. So that is, oh, I can't forget about this one. This is Disney Colourpop. It's got all the princesses, Disney princesses signatures on the bullet, which is so cute. Um, that's it there. And two more here. Uh, this one, I think it might be from an advent calendar I got a while back. There we go. And this Bare Minerals one, um, this is red. I don't wear much red at all, but I didn't want to kind of get rid of it because there's always the odd occasion. I think it's just because I don't wear it. It's a bit scary. And when I do wear it, Steve goes, what are you wearing that for? <laughs> he's a bit scared. So there's all my lipsticks. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, there. So as I say, summer kind of everyday lipsticks. Summer, um kind of maybe for the summer more than that I would wear at the moment and I have some lip glosses so uh, this is a lip pencil that I got from my friend Sally just recently actually it's lovely and look it goes like that don't have to sharpen it anything I don't have to sharpen is a bonus um Steve Laurent 
Now some of these dry mattes, some of them stay like a gloss. Uh, that's it there. Sometimes they're nice over a lipstick as well. Um, oh, Too Faced Melted Latex. Um, I'm going to try this again, but I'm sure I didn't like it because it made my lips kind of stick together. <laughs> Um, this is an Ilamasca one that I think I got from a box. There you go. Um, Bare Minerals. Definitely think got this in a box. This is a metallic -y one. Again, it might be nice over colour as well. And last but not least, there is this Ducey. Um, lip stain, so it's kind of orangey looking, but um, I'm not sure if I can work with that. Yeah, that's just, I think that's too, too orange, so I will declutter that. So I'm doing quite well actually. <laughs> so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, seven lipsticks. And one, two, three, four glosses, one pencil, and I've decluttered one, two, three, four, five, six. I have decluttered six. Um, I also have here a uh, sleek um, lip valve gloss and Marks and Spencer's autograph um, lip gloss, but I'm going to pass these on to my friend's daughter um, who has no makeup. She's brand new into makeup, so I thought I'll pass those on to her. I'm sure she'll enjoy those. And the next one is the lip um, liners. So this is from Mellow, Mellow Lips. I probably will have no success with that one because I can't sharpen these things. So that's it there. It's really pretty, but I hope I can sharpen it. Um, the Lottie London, again, look, it's lovely because I love the lipstick. It's downstairs. It's actually like a lip gloss. Um, but I'm not sure if I can sharpen it. Delilah. So look, look, this makes my heart sing retractable. <laughs> um, there we go. So they all actually really seem to match <laughs> the colours of my lipstick. And most of them I've got in advent calendars or waxes. I haven't bought any of these. Um, and there, that is the number seven um, precision lips, which is lovely. The number seven, this is another number seven precision lips. I think I got those in the advent calendar. So there you go. So they're all very kind of similar, aren't they? But looking at the lipstick, it actually works out really well for me. And this one here, Lord and Berry, which is kind of, I do wear a lipstick currently this color. So I'm going to pop that in my everyday makeup bag. And last but not least, actually, this Primark one, which is ancient and it's all funky. So it's going in the bin. But look, it's a felt lip liner. It's really a, quite unusual, isn't it? So I've decluttered one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these are going back in. So that's the top drawer. Done much faster than I did before. <laughs> And I am in the drawer that has the um, eyeliners, mascaras. There we go. So I'm just going to go through the mascaras first. Um, I'll do this really quickly. No need to faff about. Yeah. So I have a number seven extreme length. There we go. I got that from the advent calendar. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag advent calendar. Yet to try it, but quite excited. The Lord and Berry um, Scuba Pro Warped with Mascara. I don't have any luck. I need to usually use a Warped with Mascara, but they all end up up here. Haven't found one yet that doesn't do it. The Technic um, Mega Lash. That looks waterproof with the colour. Um, haven't tried that. You always find waterproof tend to be in a different colour, quite often blue. And Lash Princess by Essence. 
I've heard that the regular version of this is really good, but the waterproof one, just not for me, and it ends up all over here. So decluttering that one. And the Tarte Lights Camera Action is one of the bougiest um, mascaras ever. I'm currently using that one from the Tarte set that I had before. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five mascaras. Plus I need to take one out to add because I've run out. And that's one decluttered. So that's actually quite, quite good, isn't it? Um, now in terms of eyeliners I have actually gone through these so that's why I know what I'm keeping and what I'm not so these are my eyeliners here and I'm not going to kind of swatch the ones that I'm decluttering so <laughs> the nib fell off this one um, it's like a really <laughs> I hope it doesn't fall off again. Yeah, in the summer, one of them actually melted and broke when I was filming this. But um, it's a great idea, but it falls out all the time. And yeah, I'm already messy enough as it is. And there's the, they're kind of glittery um, coal pencils, but just not for me. So I will declutter these four. Um, this is, a, I think it's a Maybelline and it's a precision. But look, no. I don't know if it is one of these that only kind of isn't retractable and I've pulled it all out. I don't think I did. But when I tried this earlier, look, just crap, isn't it? So, yep, in the declutter pile. And um, one more coal here and the Obsession Makeup Obsession Coal. So this coal is purple. I don't know if I'll use it because I don't use a lot of coals, but... I've got one in my project pan, so I used to always use them. And this is Diego Dalla Palma. So, you know, I've got one in my makeup bag at the moment. Who knows, I might come back to loving them. And I have three of these um, pencil type. However, they run out really, really quickly. Um, the pen types, look at that. That's the Ico Fat Lash, is it? Fat Liquid Eyeliner. The Bang Beauty one, love the packaging on that. Um, that's a thinner line. And the number seven, oh, these run out really quickly. Um, there we go. So I'll probably get a few months out of those, so I probably will be needing to buy new eyeliner pretty quickly. Oh, I forgot this one. Um, what's this, AT, AT OMG Smooth Eyeliner. I got this from Latest in Beauty. Wow, look at the packaging. Gold, isn't that gorgeous? Really heavy as well. Um, there we go. So, I probably will need to buy eyeliner at some point this year, but my favourite is a really cheapy one. Um, I think it's Collection, and it's the eyeliner's in the pot, and you just shake it. I love that stuff. So, we're getting on to the last drawer. And I did have um, makeup in here, but I brought it out. And I will show you that actually um, in a wee minute. Yeah, it's mainly just things like lashes and stuff like that that's in that bag. <laughs> Hair bows and under eye things. So anyway, I'm going in the bottom drawer and this is the highlighter, highlighters and blushers. So I have this Revolution Chocolate Elixir. Um... I'm going to pass that on, a little duo, pass that on to my friend's daughter. She's like in her, te she's early teens, the Revolution Rose Gold. So I think she'll like these. Um, and the Primark Mink Pink. It's lovely. Um, really lovely. But um, there we go. So what else do I have here? The Sleek. Um, one of these I think is a dupe for NARS Orgasm. And I think I can see the one. It is the middle one. Now, they're very orangey with the exception of the middle one, which is kind of pinky. So I will probably only use that one. Um, I've got this from Brian, a Revolution Pro 4K blush palette. Um, I think I could actually, it's called Mauve, but I think I could actually get away with using some of these as bronzers because of the shade and... So that's them there. You know, I definitely could wear those as bronzers. Um, definitely blush, but um, there we go. Could try it as a blush first. Um, 
Revolution, Revolution Highlighter Reloaded. Look at that. I love the packaging on this stuff. Um, there we go. My back is absolutely killing me, guys. <laughs> um, I've got two estate um, pink and purple. Um, I'm definitely going to... I'm not sure if I'm going to keep both of these. Um, there you go. They're pretty, but I think I'll pass at least one of those on. Um, the Becca one I got from the Advent Calendar. This is beautiful packaging. That's stunning highlighter. Um, there we go. And the um, Natasha Denona Blush Glow Duo. Um, I've got this in the advent calendar. And I've given away so much of my makeup in case you're thinking you really, you have a lot, but not for the YouTuber. Because I've given away so much over the years. So that is really pretty, really subtle as well. So I'm going to just close this one up now. Um, do we have what? One, two, three, four, five there. Oh no, I have another one, CoverGirl um, Instant Cheekbones. No, I'm definitely keeping that one, but one, two, three, four. I'm gonna give four of those away and keep one, two, three, four, five. So, I don't think there's any bronzer in there actually. Um, last but not least, um, I tried this Marcel BB cream. I usually really like it, but I just that didn't work. Um, the Origins Ginseng, uh, Vita Sing Sheer Tint Release. Fantastic, but it's ancient. Same with the Nivea Day Cream, the Nude by Nature. That can go in the bin. Um, oh, I also got some of these Laura Geller Dew Dreamer. Um, absolutely stunning. So, yeah. They just haven't included like makeup that's in my makeup bag because I thought there's no point. Um, there we go. So, you just rub that in. It rubs in really nicely, actually. It's gorgeous. Just don't go too heavy handed, but it does rub in really well. And my tart kind is the new pretty tart. In a minute. Um there we go. Oh my someone's just come to offer me a coffee, which is really sweet. So yeah, that is um a powder. And there's a brush here to go in the bin. So how many things am I decluttering? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen items. I am decluttering. <laughs> I can't get them all in my hand. And I have got from this pile six items that I'm giving away. So I hope you enjoyed this. They say it's not massive collection in any way, but I know that it's more than I had when I first started. I had one eyeshadow and it was a trio. And um, yeah, that was it. I had that for years until I started YouTube. But anyway, I've done a declutter of my eyeshadows. I've done a declutter of the makeup that was kind of in my bedroom that I kind of had to sort through so I'm feeling a wee bit better but I will be adding some more makeup in at some point I think I haven't bought any for ages for myself I realized that when I'm like somebody sent me this got this in an advent calendar so I've not done too bad it's the eyeshadows I have a problem with so anyway guys I'll speak to you soon bye bye